in an orchestra just playing on the side of a dirt road. Sounds pro. Good score. It's not just somebody plunking on a keyboard, you know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Dear God. That guy's never seen sun. It's Prince Harry. Oh, Italy. Yeah, of course. They were talking about uh, ravioli and whatnot. This is me when I'm sitting and listening to music alone. What the fuck's up with his neck, dude? I just had this nightmarish vision that his neck was going to bulge out like a bullfrog. Oh boy, you've made a friend. What an odd reaction. Guy just standing there like you don't maybe wave. No, I'm going to spontaneously look away and contemplate this incident. Giving him enough time to run away. I like the little troll man there. See him with the scarf on? You went to find the rabbit? No, no, I'm serious. Respect. You could have got robbed by children. Yes, new friends. Let's all move in together now. Same culture? Same generic ass white people DNA. Yeah, the kid's meant to be spooky kid. He's gonna do some spooky shit later for sure. I swear to God, this is why we're never going to solve racism. Because even if everybody was exactly the same, we're still going to have Dutch versus Swedes. All people with thicker eyelashes must be exterminated. They're the problem with society. If your shoe size is below a five, it clearly means that you have hooves for feet. To gulag with ye. Dude's not even tipped off at all. The, the same guy that was staring at him from the courtyard. Like, oh yeah, let's just up and move in with these people. It'll be great. Maybe he's hoping for some kind of like illicit gay experience, you know? The Dutch guy was definitely uh, sending out some kind of vibe. I thought it was creepy, but who knows? Maybe he's uh, flattered. Yay, the stirring, spooky part of the music is when everybody claps. I think they're misusing the score so far. They're using it unfairly to try to build tension when they're just doing the fucking dishes. It's not bad music, I just wish, you know, they'd use it a little more economically. It's the flag, scary. So fucking weird. They literally had one dinner together. I just don't understand the friendliness, man. I would rather. I love depressing Norwegian movies. Give me your wallet. Was that coded language? Yeah, when she attacks you with an axe. Wow. 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 Cool? Wow. All right, I'm going to stop. Ghosted. I knew they were going to make it a plot point that she doesn't eat meat. No, it's cool. We're cannibals. Everything's cool here. Depressed Swedish chef. Because he's usually like, but it'd be like, um, but it'd be like, um, I can't tell who looks more disturbing. I'm leaning towards the adult. Oh, he's got no tongue. No, no, he's fine. He's fine. This is his 7 p.m. whaling session. Meaning basically he's born with, without a tongue. Seemed like a raw wound, chief. I like how they're just leaving their daughter to sleep in that room with him, too. Have a good night, Agnes. They're not. This guy has the worst fucking situational awareness and survival instincts of any human being alive. What a stupid fuck. They're obviously appropriately weirded out by a grown man who can't communicate with their child. He can't speak English and probably not Danish or whatever language the Danes speak. <laughs> and, uh, and they just go, well, I guess it'll be okay. They're going to fuck on the pool table in front of them. This guy's so shitty and suggestible. He's going to like turn bad by the end of this, isn't he? He's like, oh, you guys want to murder and eat my whole family? What a great idea. I'm still going with that, by the way. This is going to end up like a, a cannibal story. White people dancing. So fucking weird, dude. Why would she go along with this? He's clearly just trying to keep up with the Joneses in the perv department. It's gross. <laughs> Are we lame? I think we're lame. 
Awful nice of him to brush his teeth before he rushes in and violates you. I hope he spits it in the shower drain. <laughs> Why would you ever fuck in these people's house? Why? I guess because she's scared that makes her horny. The Dutchman? I mean, he'd probably, like, hand wash the sheets and then drink the water. That fucking guy. Oh, God, she's sleeping with them while they're nude. I didn't even notice. I was too fucking distracted by that guy's fucking bare ass. She's probably not bothering to tell him because she figured uh, if she did tell him, he wasn't going to do anything, and it would just have made her lose even more respect for him. Oh, no, they're going to go back for the bunny because he went back earlier. You, you didn't even have to do that. All it does is just make these people seem dumber. Yeah, turn around, you stupid asshole. Movie's not over yet. What a fucking bunch of garbage. What a fucking... Boo. Discordant strings. Drone shot. Why is this guy so fucking polite? Does he still not know that his daughter was sleeping with a naked Dutchman? <laughs> you put my daughter in a Dutch oven. I fucking hate this guy. Why is she building up to the big thing? Oh, not even going to mention it. Okay. Mm. Felt so wrong. Yeah, they could have lied right at the beginning when she first wanted to leave. Make up a bullshit story. Where were you? Who gives a fuck? Put on pants. I promise you today, it's going to be great. Bye. Ugh. Is it okay if I turn on the radio? <laughs> Touch his hand now. Fucking hell, dude. It's all of it is just like worthless small talk every bit. Singing is good. I like to hear sounds and then make them with my mouth. This is going to be the juxtaposition song. They're going to play this again later whenever the horrible, shocking shit inevitably happens. Thank you. Right here. I thought he was going to point to his cock. Powerful one. <laughs> See? Totally. Totally, bro. Slap me with it. Why? Totally. It's called being a pussy. Being a pussy I'm bitch. Have like dinner with people that I don't even like. Like you, for example, Raul Julia. And I'm so tired of smiling all the time. So stop. It's fucking creepy. This is where I go to scream. <laughs> Diarrhea comes shooting out of his pant legs. <laughs> I swear to God, I I did not expect them to be wearing swim trunks. I thought they were just, this is going to be fucked. I guarantee, mm, I'm seriously feeling like there's something going to happen between these two guys. And it's going to be fucked. Did I? Oh, I lied. I don't work. No? No, I kidnap people. I've never worked. I don't believe in working. I kidnap people, take their stuff and eat them. It's the other way around. <laughs> I hope there's a cauldron. It's not really being recognized as a producer of fine and high quality cheese like uh, Italy or France, for example. Try this head cheese. You, you'll like it. It's real good. I was talking over her some of doing some more then Karen then. shit. By the way, it's it's really fun that her name is Karen. I'm sure that was totally not intentional and a reference to a bloated dying corpse of a meme. I think she was telling her, and shut up while you chew, you cud-mouthed horse. Dude, like, all this passive-aggressive shit. Honestly, how much can these people take? One, two, three, four. What the fuck, dude? But they are just kids. Yes, but if he wants to reach his potential, he has to concentrate. You're jobless and you can't sing. What the fuck? This guy's fucked. There's going to be some fucked up shit that's going to happen. I love the passion you're bringing to this. Get up and leave. Get up and leave. 37 minutes left. I don't know. I'm kind of getting into it. Best part of the show. No, this is about doing what is right. He's reading a tweet right now. Like showing your son some love when he's crying. I'm upvoting. I'm upvoting this movie. I don't want to see you like this. Take her to the fucking car. Having a huge amount of trouble fucking buying this shit, man. 
I'm going to think about doing something. Flute lessons next Tuesday. Look, it's all the stuff he's collected from the people he's killed. Man, it better not be something really cliche, because to make us wait this fucking long for the reveal, it better be good. That's all I'm saying. Because I've seen other movies like this, and they get all of this shit out of the way in the first 10 minutes. It's all the other families. They're going to take my daughter as the new kid. And he couldn't dance anyway, you know? It's not like the world really lost anything. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> he sucked at being a cowboy. Cowboys don't cry, they dance and shoot their guns. That's right, he did. And it's his own fucking fault. They should have left a long fucking time ago. It's so ridiculous. Let him pass you so they can block the road up front. Good strategy, good plan. I hope he's wearing a bunny costume or something if he does. I forgot how to drive. I forgot cars belong on roads. I forgot to strand myself. I'm honestly surprised this guy hasn't pissed himself yet. Before anything bad actually happens to him, I guarantee you he's gonna be like covered in dirt. It's gonna look like he's already like fought to save his own life. Yeah, look at him. He's already had a harrowing journey. And all he did was get out of his fucking car. <laughs> Shitty campfire ghost story. I ca yeah, there's definitely aspects to it. Like I said, it's 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 going pretty cliched, honestly. Like I said, this movie was highly rated, so there has to be something that happens. Teresa? There's probably like one big shocking scene. Teresa? Thanks for helping us out. It's very nice of you. Cause he didn't tell her what he found, obviously. What a fucking pussy! Oh, he's slobbering and shit. What a fucking... Relax. Oh, it's fucking awful. Thank you. Lingering on his face for quite too fucking long. Why the fuck would you even hesitate? Because it's him, obviously. Are they just trying to build this man up as the most pathetic human being alive? So, like, right at the last five minutes or something, he's going to do something heroic? I doubt it. Fuck, he's unlikable, man. Don't talk to my family like that. Literally acting like he's never been punched before in his life, which is probably oh, fucking true. Yeah, from... Sorry, does he have fucking lead knuckles or something that he can do this and then that makes it fucking pussy? Ugh. The vomit was grosser. I'm just glad that they showed it. I didn't puss out. The effect whenever they actually did cut it looked way better than I thought it was gonna look. Cause when they first pulled her tongue out, it was like all weird and purple. It looked like a gummy. But then when they actually did the tongue cut, it looked like a real tongue again. Weird. Do Danish people just not know how to fight? Is that the problem? Is that the fucking... Dude. They got about 10 minutes to win me back, I guess. This shit ain't getting done without guns, without a knife. At least. The guy's too afraid to take an ass beating. Incapacitated by fucking dashboard punches. I don't even know what the fuck you'd call that shit. She didn't even try to pull that bitch's hair. Any woman who fucking had a self-respecting vagina. Any mother who respected her mommy milker. I don't even want to finish that fucking sentence. The point is, they didn't do shit. Kill them already. I want them to die. Fuck. Stupid ass smile. Why are you doing this? Because you're weak. Because you let me. He's not wrong. Aside from those fucking tongue scissors, have they brandished one weapon? The, uh, the evil Dutch people? Perhaps the most disappointing scene of the whole movie? <laughs> Please say, like, a big snake comes out of this fucking mud pit and eats them. Something... Something cool happened. We suck. I know. I've never been happier. We did it. We finally got rid of her. Now we can go live naked in the mud like we always wanted. They got a big slingshot. Oh, God. CGI stoning wounds. You couldn't just do, like, makeup and, and a quick cut. Something like that. It wouldn't even be that hard. 
Yeah, that's literally all he's doing. He's just throwing rocks at them. This is the stupidest... How the fuck? How the fuck? You can't be expected to believe this shit. It completely removes any kind of sympathy you would have for the family. The shock for what happens to him. Because it's, it's fucking clown shoes, man. At least she looks disappointed in her last moments. Finally. She realized at the very end, wow, this is the guy I fucking married. Yeah, that's why I said Ave Maria. It's fucking awful. I like my new life without a tongue. That's not the same girl, is it? These are just random children to really, you know, drive home the sadness or whatever. I feel nothing. I feel like I wasted my time watching this. Someday it'll be your stupid kid who can't dance. I like his skull shirt, though. This is like a weird moral lesson. I guess like, yeah, 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 this is a cultural thing. The Danes think of themselves too polite. We should take a cue from the Dutch, who are slightly less polite and kill people with rocks. We cut the bunny's tongue out too. Yep. <clears throat> Credits, please. Co-producer Trent. Thanks, Trent. Thanks for your shitty movie. See, that's the thing about those Dutch, you know. They don't waste their lives working. You know, that's for suckers. You just steal other people's families. All right, well, that was... What the fuck was this shit called again? Speak no evil. I get it. Because of the tongue. And not having it. One and a half out of five, I guess. The people who filmed it tried their best. <laughs> uh, awful script. Awful, awful script. Relied too much on a gimmick and forgot to make realistic characters. Completely removed any kind of uh, tension or drama. Because the whole time I'm just like, who are these fucking people? Let's kill. Close.